Here we're going to take a look at a Cabana's pistol. I'm probably mutilating how that name is pronounced. But there it is. Now they made several versions of the pistol. They also made some rifles. And it's, it's different in its operation. This gun uses 22 blanks to fire a 177 pellet. The gun's made in Mexico. And it has to do with the Mexican laws on firearm ownership and what they can, what they can't have. So apparently they can have these. <laughs> now, that works in Mexico. However, in the United States, since you're still using an explosive to fire a projectile, it's it's actually a firearm in the United States. So it still has to be registered and all that fun stuff. You know, if it gets transferred to a firearm dealer, they got to do the paperwork and whatnot. So this is not traded, sold, or anything like an air gun, even though it shoots pellets and doesn't really use a cartridge. But that's what this uses. Now, when I got this one, it came with the Tasco dot sight. I don't know if that's original. I mean, as far as I know, this, this case could actually be somebody might have made this case for the gun. If they did, they got everything fitting in there pretty good. There's a bunch of the blanks and some BBs and stuff in there. I'll go ahead and, and get, get this out of here so we can take a better look at it. Here's a little better view of the gun itself. You can see there, made in Mexico. Yeah, still pretty small bore. The grip actually fits better than it looks. It looks kind of crude. But it does work. Um, here is a couple packages of the ammunition. The, the steel shot, if that's original with the gun, it's it's some pretty crude stuff. It's really rough. Uh, it's almost like we're looking at rocks. I mean, it's it's. I would never put that in a bore. This does have a rifled barrel in it too, so it, to shoot that stuff in there would be kind of crazy. I'll go ahead and turn the gun around. And here's the other side of it. I've shot this a few times. It's kind of different. I mean, it's it's a lot. You know, it's not like a 22. You're shooting 22 blanks. It's, it definitely launches the pellets out. I read somewhere, I think they're like 11 or 1,200 feet a second. I don't know. It's one of these days I'll have to take it out and actually chronograph and see what a blank will shoot a 177 caliber pellet at. But, you know, it's they're, they're kind of neat and at the same time absolutely useless in the United States. Again, because it, it actually is a firearm and you have to register these things depending on the state you're in, of course, how the, all the transactions work. But, yeah, if you're going to get it shipped or ship it to somebody, it's got to go through an FFL. So, definitely, uh different I mean, you just you don't see these around much in the u.s because of the fact they are a firearm you know there's no reason a dealer would ever carry one of these I and mean, you might as well just go buy a 22 long rifle or shoot 22 shorts or something instead of this it's kind of it's kind of pointless in the united states but i do understand why they would have made it you know especially in mexico where they can't have their firearms but they can have something like this which will get them a bit more power so but yeah, one of these days, I'll have to get it out, actually go in and shoot it on paper, see how accurate it is. I would imagine a 177 pellet being pushed down a barrel by a 22 blank, <laughs> it might be a little a little fast for a pellet. I mean, we, I do got some lead shot I could try in that too, instead of uh, their really crude BBs that came with it, because, uh, again, I wouldn't put those in anything. I, don't even, I mean, they'd probably scratch up a shotgun barrel, but... So that's that. I'll go ahead and open the action so you can see how that looks too. Also very simple in design. I mean it's there's there's a little two little clips to extract the, the empty out. Now the other thing with this, the bolt does not completely lock forward. It it locks when you when you actually fire it and the hammer holds it in the forward position. Because you are shooting blanks, there's probably not a whole lot of power there, but it, it does work. It, it have The few times I've shot it, it has stayed closed. It's kind of a weird feeling, you know, when you're used to shooting regular firearms and 
the bolt usually <laughs> will lock up, but these don't. It just it just stays forward, and you fire it. The hammer hits it and keeps it forward, and that's how it works. I mean, it's it's a cheap gun, no doubt about it. But yeah, it was it was one of those things. I seen it, kind of wanted it just because it is unique. So there you have it. The Cabana's pistol.